Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Olivia Brown and I am currently a fourth year undergraduate student at UCLA studying anthropology. And today we're here to talk about biological determinism. What is it? What kind of movements did it spark? Anything you're wondering, I'm hoping to cover here. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So if you were to look up biological determinism online, this is the basic definition that you would find. Biological determinism is the idea that most human characteristics, physical and mental, are determined at conception by hereditary factors passed from parent to offspring. So basically what this is saying is that everything about us is determined at birth because of our biology, because of our genes. So if you have this concept of biological determinism that is saying we are defined by our biology in every sense, it has to come at the expense of something else. And you can probably feel the direction that we're headed right now. And this argument exists at the expense of our environment. So the argument that our environment impacts who we are in our decisions or our social landscape impacts who we are in our decisions is completely invalidated by this idea of biological determinism. Now this concept of biology versus environment is very similar if not the exact same thing as the nature versus nurture argument. And for anyone who isn't familiar with the nature versus nurture argument, it basically questions to what extent our biology influences our behavior and to what extent our environment influences our behavior. And I say behavior, but it's actually could be anything. It could be our phenotypic appearance, how we act, who we are, you know, all that, all that stuff. Now, before we get any further, I really quickly do want to acknowledge that today, most people acknowledge that genes and the environment both play a very strong role in who we are and our decisions and our physical appearance. There was a period of time where biological determinism was the leading argument and it actually becomes problematic for a series of reasons and I will get into that, but I do just wanna say that the nature versus nurture argument still very prevalent and both are playing an important role. So don't leave this video thinking that biological determinism is like the thing and is what you should be preaching because it's not. Now, if we take this idea of biological determinism a little bit further, there's actually a series of problems that can present themselves. And I, I want you to see what I mean and I think it's about to become very clear very quickly. So let's say that you were feeling a little crazy and you broke the law for some reason. Your argument could then be, well, this had nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with my genes. I didn't make that decision, my genes did make this decision, so it's not actually my fault. Or if you were to get the best grade on a test in your class, you could say, well, that's that's because of my genes. I'm programmed to study really hard and I'm just really smart, so therefore that makes me smarter than everyone else here. So you can kind of see here that as a byproduct of this biological determinism ideology, things like racism can persist, things like sexism can persist, and a lot of other really, really, really bad things can persist, and that is not a world that we wanna live in, partially because of the social issues and then also partially because it's just not true. Now we're gonna take this even further. Yes, we're getting deep today. All right, so if you have this concept that says everything about us is heritable, everything that we do exists in our biology, and the environment has nothing to do with us, it has nothing to do with the decisions that we're making, you can begin to see that the possibility arises to select for people with the best traits. Let's dissect this a little bit. If you have a group of people that get all A's on a test, all right, and then you have another group of people, or maybe school's not their thing, and they all fail this test. If the world that you live in believes that maybe the students who get A's are actually better or superior than the students who get F's, and you think that this intelligence is actually a genetic component, then this possibility of selectively breeding people who are smarter can actually exist. Now the same thing goes for crime. If you have a group of people who break the law and then another group of people who are not breaking the law, you can again say, well, if that's genetic, then what if we just only allow the people that do good things to reproduce? Because the environment actually has nothing to do with the outcome. Now this may sound like a hypothetical scenario, but unfortunately it is not. Now to any history buffs out there, you are probably familiar with where this conversation is headed and that is the eugenics movement. Now again, I'm going to read to you the eugenics uh, definition just because the dictionary is probably better at that than I am. So really quick, eugenics is the practice or advocacy of improving the human species by selectively mating people with specific desirable hereditary traits. 
Secrets. And this seems like it should be in some dystopian novel, okay, but it's not. And it was unfortunately a very large portion of our history. Now, unfortunately, huge portions of the population were forcibly sterilized because society did not deem their genes good enough, responsible enough, kind enough, smart enough to be passed down into the next generation. And again, there is an entire Pandora's box full of, you know what, no, this is the thing inside Pandora's box, okay? So many bad things came as a byproduct of this movement and it breaks my heart thinking about and just honestly doing all the research for this video was horrible and heartbreaking and I hate it and it really does all come back to biological determinism. Now I do really quickly just want to close out this video by saying that biological determinism has little to no credit anymore. There are so many other factors acting on your physical appearance and the way that you act, the way that you behave, and you, I mean you know this, if someone was nice to you this morning you are probably gonna have a better day than if someone was mean to you this morning and that has nothing to do with our genes. And finally if you are new here I actually make videos entirely related to anthropology and biological determinism actually is pretty closely related to biological anthropology more so the history of biological anthropology because it permitted so many bad things to happen in the history of this field and I would love to talk about that more if people are interested and finally if you are one of my returning viewers or a new viewer even tell me what you want to see because I kind of hit a wall this week I don't really know what I want to talk about I have covered so many requests all my last videos have actually been requests and they are the best ideas so please tell me what you want to see down below and i hope you guys are staying safe and having a fantastic sunday and i will see you all next week all right bye you guys